Hey, what's good everybody? This is Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And in this video, I'm making for you some banana pudding with a twist. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned right after this. All right, before we get started with this recipe, let me show you all the ingredients. And as you can see, I got some sweet potatoes right there. So that's the twist that's going to be in this banana pudding recipe. All right, so right here, I'm filling up a pot with some water, going in with my sweet potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna throw those on the stove and let them cook till they get nice and soft. All right, so right here, I'm making some vanilla pudding. And so basically, I just got the box pudding and you're just gonna follow the directions of whatever pudding that you get. All right, so now that I got my pudding made, it's in the refrigerator setting. So right here, I'm peeling some bananas and I'm gonna slice them up. All right, so now that I got my bananas all cut up, now I'm gonna start the sweet potato whipped cream. All right, so right here I'm going in with some heavy cream. And now I'm gonna give that a mix until it kind of starts peaking, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. When it kind of starts thickening up, that's when you know you're going to move on to the next step and you'll see what I'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute all right so what I'm doing I'm, get, I'm getting the whipped cream to the consistency of almost like an alfredo and so now I'm putting in some granulated sugar. I'm also going in with some pure vanilla extract. And now I'm going to continue to mix the um, heavy cream with the sugar and the vanilla in there. Alright, so right here is a little trick that I learned working in restaurants where you take a little bit of the uh, pudding and you put into the um, whipped cream and that's going to keep it from melting really fast. That's going to allow it to hold kind of like a mousse. Alright, and the reason it does that because there's gelatin inside the, um, the uh, pudding mix. So here I'm peeling the potatoes after, you know, they was boiled and cooled down. And they're going to go into my food processor and then I'm going to whip them up and get them nice and whipped like mashed potatoes.
All right, so now I'm gonna put them in, into the uh, heavy whipping cream that's been whipped. And then I'm gonna continue to whip this until basically it becomes a consistency of whipped cream. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Alright, so now that I got the sweet potato whipped cream done, now I'm going to start building the um, banana pudding. Alright, so what I'm doing is going down with a, like a quarter inch layer of uh, the vanilla pudding on the bottom of a casserole dish. Alright, so next I'm going down with some vanilla wafers. All right, now I'm going down with a layer of the sliced bananas. And another layer of the vanilla pudding. All right, so I'm smoothing that out, making sure all the bananas are covered. So here I'm going down another layer of vanilla wafers. Alright, so to do the, um, I'm getting ready to go down with a layer of the sweet potato whipped cream. And to put it down, I'm going to go into my piping bag, my pastry bag. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. You can just spread it on just like, a, just like I did the vanilla pudding. Alright, so here I'm going down with the, uh, the last layer of uh, sliced bananas. And as you can see, this thing is going to be full of bananas. I like, I like having a lot of bananas in my banana pudding. I've tried other people's and sometimes they'll just put, you know, a little bit, mostly wafers and, you know, a whole lot of pudding. But mine, I like the bananas to kind of be the star of the show since it is called banana pudding. So right here, I'm going down with some more vanilla wafers. And some more of that, that vanilla pudding. Spreading that out so it covers everything nice and evenly. And now I'm going to top that with some more of that sweet potato uh, whipped cream.
right, so the final step to this recipe, I'm gonna put on some crushed uh, vanilla wafers. So you pretty much just wanna get them to a consistency of like granola or something like that. All right, and then just sprinkle it all over the top as you're about to see. And it's gonna give it a little bit more flavor and it's also, uh, to me, it looks nice on top like that. So at this point, the whole recipe, the sweet potato uh, banana pudding is done. If you made it this far, then you must have liked this video or must have, you know, you must have been getting value out of this recipe. So at that point, I just want to ask you to become a subscriber if you're not already. Also, check me out on social media at Cooking and Grilling with Carl on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And, you know, leave a comment, smash that like button, and also give a thumbs up on the video. On that note, I say God bless. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Also, there's going to be a little bit of uh, bonus footage at the end. All right. Got my son in here. <laughs> All right. Y'all be blessed. I'll catch you in the next video. All right. That's what's up.